of course the government is making money uh, every possible which way they can. Selling drugs to soldiers is just another revenue stream, just like selling them bad insurance products. Remember, the soldiers landed in Iraq from America, and they had Caldwell bankers, or they had these insurance guys on the ground trying to sell them these insurance products that get them to sign it under duress, which turned out to be faulty, and they were just ripping them off. I mean, these soldiers are getting ripped off, monetarily ripped off. They're being pushed drugs. Their families are being destroyed because back home their houses are going negative equity. They're being shot at and killed for no reason other than to teach a Halliburton contractor how to do their job for six times more money. You know, it's amazing. The Chinese are doing Americans' job for 90% less. In Iraq, you've got contractors doing soldiers' jobs for six times more. You know, this is why the American economy is collapsing. They want to increase the cost of doing the job in Iraq while they're getting the job to do it in their home countries dropping by 95% by outsourcing it to China. How do you make money that way? You're losing on both sides of the equation. That's why you're not, you're not getting squeezed to death. You're, you're obliterating yourself. It's called a suicide economy. Suicide bomber, he starts off, right? He's a 200-pound guy. And he blows up his, himself, and, he be, and he's scattered around for a half-mile a radius, right? This is the U.S. economy. They start off as a $13 trillion eco- economy. They're blowing themselves up to $130 trillion bits and pieces scattered up to every four corners of every wind blowing everywhere in the world. They're blowing themselves up. They have no consolidation. You can't make money by outsourcing to China for 90% less and then teaching soldiers in Iraq to teach a Halliburton contractor to do the same job for six times more so that the U.S. taxpayer can pay the Halliburton contractor all their tax money to do the same job for six times more of the price. That's not, a, that's not a free market. That's not an efficient market. That's a rig market. That's market manipulation on both sides of the equation. Walmart's draining the capital by giving the job to China, and Halliburton's uh, making the same job of a soldier in Iraq six times more. So instead of being efficient, you're, having, you're, you're introducing gross inefficiencies to, to a, a completely abnormal way. And this is what's destroying that economy. And the only way they can keep it going right now is to keep floating uh, more and more of these derivative products collateralized by more and more of this fake fiat nonsense currency, the U.S. dollar. And I'm sure it's Halliburton private contractors who are giving the cocaine to the U.S. soldiers and the British soldiers in exchange for their guns, which Halliburton probably gives to the so-called insurgents in order to make sure that this profitable war doesn't end. Yeah, exactly. Like uh, Robert Duvall said in the Apocalypse Now, you know, after he says, uh, I love the smell of uh, napalm in the morning, he goes on to say another famous line, which is, you know, someday this war will end. And he's not saying it because he, he would be happy that the war would end. He, he, he would be quite sad. You know, someday this war will end. And then what will we do? How will we make money then? How will we exploit the situation then? And this is what you hear in, in Iraq. You know, once this war is over, Halliburton stocks are going to crash. Because they can't make money, Halliburton. The only way they know how to make money is by killing people. Uh, for no reason whatsoever, other than it's profitable. You grind up the bones, grind up the teeth, gas oven business, totalitarianism. This is their specialty. Well, you know, I think that uh, there's, there's uh, hundreds of millions of people out there who they are going to start to see that there's a uh, the absurdity factor of the suicide bombers within the global context will have a slightly different sheen as the totalitarianism penetrates deeper into the U.S. society. You're going to have more and more people who are going to be sympathetic to those people in other places around the world who, who have taken the maximum uh, measure against this, this type of uh, violation. And probably sooner than later, really. I, I just don't think it makes sense to be there for it. Uh, if you have a sense of self-preservation, I would be like the Jews in uh, Germany in the mid-30s and get the hell out now before uh, you find yourself on a train to Treblinka with Bill Gates throwing rose petals in your, on your way and so talking about they can't eat that seed because I own the rights to it. You, know, you can't eat the seeds out of the shit of your neighbor because I own the rights to your neighbor's shit. <laughs> Pay me a royalty payment to eat that shit. Thanks, Bill Gates. See you on the Forbes list next year. Have a nice day, Bill. Mm-hmm.